Worldwide, Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Leah Clark. And I'm Sam Berger. We are here at the Cleeton Anchor Restaurant in beautiful Dennisport, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. We're here tonight to take part in the Dirty Water Cape and Islands Summer and Fall Tours. That's right, the Cleet and Anchor is an American style restaurant and tavern known for its classic casual Cape Cod charm fused with a little contemporary flair. That's right, Leah, but don't forget about the great barbecue and also the cocktails and crafts. We're gonna take a part of that tonight. Oh yes, I'm having a few of those, absolutely. <laughs> they also have awesome live entertainment on their our patio. We have a huge show for you tonight. Here's what's on tap. I sat down with restaurateur Dave Delancey, co-owner of the Lobster Trap in Bourne, to talk all things food and a special piece of Cape Cod artwork. We'll also go outside to the Cleeton Anchor Smoker to see what delectable barbecue is cooking. And we'll go behind the bar for a craft cocktail demonstration. But first, Leah Clark, my good friend and co-host, is going to take us to the Southside Cantina over in Dennisport, Massachusetts, right here on Cape Cod. And that's tonight's big ticket, brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Looking for tacos, burritos, margaritas, and more on the south side of Dennis? Then come on down to the South Side Cantina located in Dennisport, MA, for some of the best Mexican food on the Cape. Southside Cantina on Lower County Road in Dennisport blends Mexican cantina style food decor with the maritime influences of Cape Cod. Whether you're looking for street corn, make your own nacho trays, tacos, burritos, and more, Southside does Mexican food right. It starts with fresh ingredients and, and you know, we go above and beyond to try and source, you know, fun, unique stuff. Uh, you know, there's so many different native chilies and, and varieties of corn and we make our tortillas from scratch, the soft shell and the hard shell corn tortillas. Uh, this is our tuna tostada. Uh, it's locally caught ahi tuna. It's super fresh, light. It sits on a bed of roasted corn salsa, scratch made guacamole. And then as I mentioned before, we make our corn tortillas in house. This is a quesadilla. We call it a shareable quesadilla. We make it in our pizza oven on the the pizza stone. It has uh, a blend of chihuahua cheese as well as white cheddar cheese inside of it, uh, and then toppings a scratch made pico de gallo, a chipotle lime crema drizzle, shredded romaine, and pickled jalapenos, and then you could fill it with any of the offerings that we have, which would be like you know, our uh, smoked brisket barbacoa or slow braised pork carnitas, um, and that could be served. That would be served in the center of it. So it's like a, a fun take giving a shareable option that's, you know, just large party friendly. This street corn, I love a good street corn. That looks delicious. Oh, it's, you know, it's very well received. It absolutely flies. Uh, we slow roast the corn in its own in its own husk. It gets tossed in a sort of like a hybrid of like crema seasoned mayo with a little bit of spice blend atop of it with chopped cilantro and white onion. And, uh, and it absolutely flies. People really enjoy it. This is our uh, house queso dip. So we slow roast poblano peppers as well as we make house made chorizo. That's in the base of it. Then the, the dish itself is covered with the blend of uh, Chihuahua cheese, white cheddar cheese, and Oaxaca cheese. We bake it in our oven as well, get a nice crisp on the top of it, gets garnished with a little bit of uh, cilantro on top, our house fried tortilla chips, as well as some of our house made soft corn tortilla um, tortillas that are rolled there. These look like the best nachos I've ever seen in my life. Let's, let's, let's talk. Talk nachos to me. Gluten-free, uh, we fry the chips and cut the chips in house. And our house-made Roja sauce, which is a blend of uh, a few different types of chilies, uh, the chili de arbol, chili morita, uh, and a few others. And so we, we rehydrate it, we macerate it down, we make our Roja sauce that we drizzle on top of it, in addition to our house-made chipotle lime crema, the pickled jalapenos, the scratch-made pico de gallo. I definitely would say one of the more, you know, everything seems to fly out of here, but the nachos is definitely a gold standard. Their Taco Tuesdays are made even more festive when you can choose from over 56 tequilas in-house. Everyone loves infused vodka, infused gins. I know cucumber gin's really hot right now, so let's infuse some tequila. So we do a spicy tequila with Guadalajara chilies and Thai chilies. Um, we do a grapefruit peel infused tequila for Palomas, which is one of my favorite summer drinks. And then we do a pineapple infused tequila too for like a tropical margarita with a little bit of blue curacao and coconut and 
Um, really just having a ton of fun with it. And to work off those calories, you can dance to live music on most nights with some of Cape Cod's most popular bands. All right, so finding good Mexican food and drink is super hard to come by, especially on Cape Cod. But I can definitely say with some authority, after spending the day at Southside Cantina here in Dennisport, MA, this is some of the best Mexican on Cape Cod. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Leah Clark. That's tonight's Big Ticket, brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Thanks, Leah. I cannot wait to experience the Southside Katina. I'm going as soon as I can. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit and send it over to my good friend, Leah, who happens to be behind the bar making a specialty cocktail. We are behind the bar with Felicia, the master bartender here at the Cleet and Anchor. She is about to make for us the... Spice Spice Baby, or the Spice Spice Baby, but a but sorry. We got some Redemption bourbon, one of my favorite bourbons. Then we have a smoked peach. We're calling it a Spice Simple, but the Spice Simple has cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, star anise, all toasted. We got a little bit of blueberry puree. We have a little bit of peach matilde, just a really nice peach liqueur, and then a little fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna give that a good shake. Double strain to get any of those seeds from the peaches. To mascarpone cheese. Whipped mascarpone cheese, are you kidding me? This is not your everyday bartender, people. Nutmeg, so that is your spice spice baby. Up next, Leah goes one on one with Dave Delancey of the Lobster Trap. And later, we'll go inside the cleat and anchor. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Leah Clark. And I'm Sam Berger. We are here at the Cleet and Anchor Restaurant in Dennisport, Massachusetts. It's all part of the Dirty Water Cape and Islands Summer and Fall Tours, the go-to web platform for all things Cape Cod. That's right. And speaking of Dirty Water Cape and Islands, I had the chance to sit down with Dave Delancey, one of the owners of the best restaurants on the Cape, Great guy. The Lobster Trap, to talk all things food and art. This place has been around forever. You can hardly get in the door most of the time. It is, it's an incredible spot. It is always absolutely bumping. What is the special sauce? I well, appreciate those <laughs> kind words. Uh, you know, I think we just, uh, we keep it real. We keep it authentic. We try our hardest every day to give our guests a true Cape Cod experience. We love to show up to work every day, have fun, cook good food, give good service, and you know, you keep it simple like that, it's a, it's a pretty good recipe. I think it has maybe something to do with the lobster. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> we sell a lot of lobster. And I noticed your menu has a little bit of a, not necessarily an Asian flair, but ahi tuna with like pad thai. My brother Dan is our uh, chef here, and him and I both grew up working in kitchens. One of the chefs we worked for, we were owned by a Japanese company. The company owned 28 hotels in Japan, and our chef in the early 90s would spend the winter in Japan working in these hotels. He'd come home with all these influences, really pair well with seafood, and that's kind of where we get that that influence in our uh, cooking here. Another thing I want to talk to you about is this amazing mural we have behind oh. us. Can yeah. you talk Thank to us you. about what's going on here? Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, an idea I've had for a few years. We have this big storage building across the river from us, and I've been sitting out here for years looking at that view saying, Oh, it'd be really cool to paint something cool on that ugly metal building. A friend of mine, he's an artist uh, and he specializes in big format stuff and all the crazy stuff that's been going on in our country the last year or so. Yeah. Uh, Phil and I just kind of put our heads together and we said we wanted to, sh you know, the beauty of Cape Cod is if you walk into the lobster trap on a Friday night, you sit at the bar. There could be a billionaire sitting there, a blue collar guy, you know, a white guy, a black guy, an Asian person. Like nobody cares who you are, what 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 background you come from. Uh, you know, I just and we just kind of wanted to portray that and, and show people uh, what the Cape is about. I think that the greatest thing a person can do to forge friendships and maintain friendships is share a meal together. And we started talking about what it takes to put that meal on the table, from the fisherman going out and catching the fish, to the chef preparing it, 
to the server serving the guests. And we wanted to portray that in the mural too. You know, while we were at it, we said, we got to throw in some of our pop culture icon favorites. You know, grew up listening to all kinds of music and watching all kinds of movies. And I'm a big sports fan. And so we had to get some of our favorite musicians and actors and athletes in there. We got Big E, we got Brady, we got Big Poppy, we got the Wu-Tang Clan in there, Brad Pitt's in there from Fight Club. It's gonna be an iconic piece of art in Cape Cod, so thank you so much. The Lobster Trap, you guys, come check it out, if you can get in, I don't know. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Appreciate thank you. It. I tell you what, that lobster trap is an incredible place. The food, the people, the drinks. And what else I love over there is that mural. If you love art, that's the place to go. Now we're going to switch up gears a little bit, and Leah, my co-host and friend, is over behind me talking to some of the patrons of the Cleeton Anchor. Thanks, Sam. We are here at the Cleeton Anchor with some of the patrons here. You guys, what makes this place so awesome? Why do you come here? The people and the place. Yeah, well, they get great ownership. They have fantastic ownership. It's a family-owned place. What do you guys like to drink here? Mai Tai. So yeah, the Mai Tai is a huge favorite. It's on tap, tastes very good. We are actually making a Mai Tai keg. So we do a 5.2 gallon soda keg. Use all of this fun stuff. You want to eat and dine and have a great time, this is where it's at. We love that Cleet and Anchor. And, and we, we love, love that, that Dirty Water TV. Up next, we'll go inside the Cleet and Anchor with owner Felicia Pons. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sam Berger. We are here at the Cleet and Anchor restaurant in Dennisport, Massachusetts on beautiful Cape Cod. One of my favorite parts of doing this show is that we get to eat incredible food, have amazing cocktails, and meet some really great people. And that's exactly what Leah Clark is doing right now. She's on the waterfront on the other side of the Cape in Hyannis, talking to some amazing people at the Black Cat Tavern. Overlooking Hyannis Harbor as the ferry shuttle vacationers to and from Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, the Black Cat venues offer a classic Cape Cod feel. So who's ready for some waterfront drinking, dining, and dancing at three unique venues? That sounds like a Cape Cod triple threat if you ask me, and I am all for it. Let's go check it out. The Black Cat Tavern is a casual waterfront restaurant located right on the docks of Hyannis Harbor. We've been here now in our 12th season. Uh, the name uh, Black Cat came from the prior owner who had a Black Cat. Dine inside, where the look is classic seaside style. Well, the great thing is he's open all year round, so this is still a you know nice place in the winter when everyone kind of closes. The martinis are awesome, and I come here for a lot of the food, but. The blackened swordfish is the best. People are outside on their heated patio while watching the boats sail by. You know, we're on the water here, which, uh, you know, stands out uh, from other restaurants. The menu features everything from tuna poke. It's one of our most popular dishes as fresh tuna, avocado, uh, seaweed salad, a nice little spicy dressing to it, and it's over the rice. Fried seafood platter, which is very bountiful. It has cod, shrimp, scallops, whole belly clams, onion rings, french fries, and coleslaw. Black Hat double stack uh, burger, which is uh, two layers of uh, six ounce uh, Angus burger served with fries, and that's dressed. One of our beers we carry on tap, it's uh, one of our Cape Cod beers, it's the Cape Cod Red. We like to support the local uh, brewery here. The Black Cat Tavern serves lunch, dinner, and Sunday brunch with entertainment. We do have entertainment here uh, five nights a week, which is nice. Located right next door, the Black Cat Harbor Shack invites you to relax while eating Cape Cod fare and drinking summer cocktails on their front porch while watching the ferries pull in and out of the harbor. I'm drinking the painkiller and I do love it. It's so tasty. The strawberry and lemon mojito. Very nice summer drink. And don't miss one of the Cape's newer hidden gems, the Shack Outback Raw Bar, a quaint outdoor oasis tucked behind the harbor shack. Grab a stool at the roomy bar and watch your oysters and clams shucked fresh to order. What we're going to do is kind of dig into this and flip it over. We have a nice, delicious, presentable oyster. The oyster is the most popular. Uh, kind of sell through those things like they're candy. Um, we also offer clams and, uh, and shrimp, uh, all from Barnesville Harbor. 
or have a seat at one of the covered tables and savor their award-winning clam chowder. I have heard that you have the best clam chowder on the Cape. Well, you know, we entered the Cape Cod Chowder Festival four times, and we won it every time. Um, so, you know, we bow, so it's true. We bow it out now, yes. The Black Cat venues offer everything you could possibly want and more right here in Hyannis Harbor. Whether you're just waiting for your ship to come in or you're just happy as a clam watching the world go by, the Black Cat has it all and is here to make your summer awesome. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Leah Clark. All right, we are here with Felicia Pons, one of the co-owners and also managers of Cleet and Anchor. We are so happy to be sitting here chatting with you today. This place is amazing. When did you guys start this place and why did you name it Cleet and Anchor? So it's kind of a funny story because we didn't know that we were getting into restaurant ownership when we moved to Cape Cod. My husband and I met in Boston um, and I shortly moved in with him and his brother. So Chris is also one of the co-owners um, and then we decided to pack everything up and move to Cape Cod, see what's going on down here. And Chris approached us one day and was like, hey, let's buy a dive bar and start a restaurant. So here we are today, um, lots of renovations later. That was back in 2017. We bought Rum Runners, which was here for over 30 years. The name Cleet & Anchor is kind of an interesting one with how it came came about. We wanted nautical. The cleat kind of keeps you safe when you're at shore, and the anchor keeps you safe when you're out at sea. So it's kind of like being secure, we're family driven, it goes to our roots. And I know you guys are known for your barbecue. I saw the smoker outside, it's absolutely incredible. It looks like an actual pig. And then also for your house made purees, your craft beer, you have like all this local craft beer, which I'm so excited to try by the way. Can you tell me about the barbecue, the drinks, all that jazz? So barbecue kind of became a passion of Tony's um, a couple years ago, um, did a ton of research, really was more of a pet project. Our friend, um, they went to high school with them, Michael Call, uh, built the smoker for us. And then we actually just upgraded this year and got a Ling smoker from Georgia, um, which can now do about 300% more meat at a time than our original smoker. We're not really trying to be Austin style or, or North Carolina style, We're kind of making our own style, call it Cape Cod style, whatever you want to call it. Yes. But we just have fun with good quality meat. We do everything from homemade sausages now, ribs. We do a charcuterie board every day. Oh. Beer's my passion. I, I run the beverage program at both of our restaurants. Love local New England craft beer. We do a lot with Craft Collective, which is a distributor down here. Um, they get us some of the the hardest to find beers around. Always rotating, one keg on, one keg off. And then you're also known for your craft cocktails. You yeah. make all your purees in house. It's a very culinary focused uh, craft cocktail program. So I, I love putting things into cocktails that you wouldn't think. One of our cocktails right now that we just put on the menu for the fall, it has smoked peaches in it, mascarpone cheese, blueberries, bourbon, a little bit of cinnamon, allspice, star anise, flavors that you're not really thinking about putting together as a drink, maybe as a dessert. Also, you have live entertainment, you have an outdoor patio. It is seasonal, so once it does start to get cold, we'll start to come inside. Um, but then we have a really cozy wood stove to kind of hang out by. Live music we do every weekend, all off season. So Friday and Saturday nights, Sundays we have karaoke, Thursdays we have open mic night. So you get a little bit of comedy, a little bit of music, a little bit of poetry, that's kind of fun. You're open all year round. So you can come here in the winter. I can see the snow coming down, sitting by the fire. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I love the off season here, especially with the wood stove and it's nothing better than a good Cape Cod storm to hang out and, uh, get some good drinks, get some good food, make some good friends. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with Thank us. You. Thank you. Up next, we'll queue up some barbecue. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Leah Clark. And I'm Sam Berger. We are here at the Cleet and Anchor restaurant in Dennisport, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. And right now we're joined by Tony Pons, owner of this beautiful establishment. Tony, how are you? Oh, doing fantastic. Happy to have you guys here. Uh, you know, welcome to the Cleet and Anchor. 
Tell me a little bit about the barbecue now, because you're known for the barbecue. Top five or something? What's that all about? The Cape Cod Times recently published an article uh, just showcasing barbecue on Cape Cod. And there's a tremendous amount of quality barbecue being made here on the Cape. Um, they showcased us as one of the great options here as Mid-Cape. Uh, you know, we not only do, you know, I'd say our style is a little more akin to, let's say, an Austin, Texas style, you know, dry rub ribs, you know, paprika, salt, uh, black pepper. Um, but they also showcased you know, some of the fun stuff we've been dabbling with as well, in addition to our house smoked bacon and house-made sausage that we smoke. Um, we've also been doing a vegetarian smoked antipasto with vegetables. We've done, you know, soups in the past, broccoli cheddar, uh, tomato and cheese soup. Uh, a few different options, and uh, you know, we actually right now have a really well-received uh, jerk chicken that we're smoking and offering as well, too. So just trying to keep it interesting, trying not to be defined by any one direction. And, you know, more than anything, it's, it's all quality ingredients. It's low and slow, locally harvested wood, white and red oak, and, uh, and you know, just rendering the meat and letting, you know, the time and the process do the job for us. You know? You're making me hungry. Outside, you guys have the smoker, and it, it's a piece of artwork, truly. It's it's designed like a pig. One of our good buddies, Michael Call of Envision Work Ironworks, a local artist, local welder here down on the Cape. He had some really cool ideas, and, and he's a fantastic artist in his own right. You know, he donated all the artwork to us, and we were able to, to come up with, a, you know, the, the pig smoker that sort of, you know, set sail for the barbecue program. So, I mean, we are certainly indebted to Mike. Please check him out, Envision Work ironworks you know the stuff he does the shark jaws he's just so many creative things but he really is a master of his craft thank you man thanks for thank talking thank you so much I appreciate everything guys thanks for coming on out and checking out what we're doing here at the cleat and anchor and uh i'm thrilled to have you and love that dirty water amazing and you know we'd love to thank everyone here at cleat and anchor tonight including tony felicia and chris and please check out dirtywatermedia.com for all things nightlife entertainment and for dirty water cape and islands at dirty water media but don't forget, Leah, we have a little saying here on Dirty Water TV. The weekend may be over. But the party never ends. On Dirty Water, Water TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> Since you play softball, how do you feel about Trader Ed's? Well, Trader Ed's, they're one of our biggest competitors. And you know what? We, you know, we like to strive to beat them every year. Oh, he's, he's the little tattoo guy who runs his mouth on the field. It's actually the guy they brought in. Ryan Braun, I don't know who he is. He's, I think. They get a bunch of ringers. They get a bunch of ringers. That They're they all like, in. They I think, do I think Johnny O'Shea yeah. pays them to play for him. And if your we, team, the Clean Anchor Cape Cod. If we do, I'll call you and you can come watch me jump into the pool. I would love that. Leave it at Trader Ed.